Well, good evening, everybody. Um, this is the semi-final for this uh, SMB3 randomizer tournament. Uh, this is uh, a race that we were pretty much like uh, waiting for because it's in between Mitch Flower Power and versus the Hacksaw. This is Sharkid, and we are. Uh, I'm, I am joined by Ibuva7, uh, who's going to commentate with me this awesome match. So, how are you doing, Buba? Hello, I am doing great. We were expecting a great match from these two. Yeah, indeed, me too. Um, this was pretty much something I was looking forward to do, and yeah, this is going to be such a clash of titans as well, because both of them are pretty much like a... Uh, well, they're both quite talented runners in the vanilla version, but you know the randomizer can do its stuff. So, uh, looking forward to see like what's going to happen on this seed. I mean, the, um, unless on this uh, first race, like what's going to happen? And well, yeah, um, I think that everything is going to be like quite awesome. That's what we expect. <clears throat> so I think we are ready to start. Yeah, we go. World five is first. And 3-2 is first, okay. Yeah, we can see that both of our runners, because you, you never know what's going to happen next, they're going to get some power-ups. Uh, at least Haxor actually uh, actually got a, a leaf right now, so he's able to, you know, bypass all these cheap chips. And yeah, like, uh, they're both pretty much, pretty much in good shape right now. Yeah, um... Mitch is, uh, usually he plays more f uh, fast, so he doesn't go for too many power-ups, just the necessary to don't die. Um, well, Hacksaw we just grab the, the tail, so it's a, a little bit different there. Yeah, me, he might actually uh, got the chance to actually ca uh, for catching up, like because in that three two he was able to you know hover over the the cheap chips, and right now they're pretty much like neck to neck entering into this A F. Uh, they pretty much like uh, going to hope if they get like a one cycle, which gets it, and so does Haxor. Nicely done in both of them. Yeah, Haxor will take the lead because he will get the fire kill. It was pretty nice. It's, it's actually difficult to keep the fire with the, that enemies. That, uh, that enemy set there. <clears throat> I mean, if you want to make the one cycle, of course. Yeah, and I think that they both uh, went to this fourth just in case that it would, you know, uh, break the lock. Um, like in the latter half of the of the wall layout, and then he, they were very much like going to the skyland right now uh, by doing this twisty castle. Mitch Flower Power actually got like the nice speed speed strat, but Haxor, you know, got some struggles with it, so he's pretty much like a little bit of behind, but Mitch is pretty much soaring all this Tristy Castle hallway, so look at that. <laughs> yeah, let, uh, let's see where he takes Mitch. Is it going to be a long World 5 or...? Ah, uh, yeah, it's going to be a long one. <laughs> Yeah, pretty much, yeah. Well, you have to play like up to three more levels, so yeah. Yeah, we both have to play the coin ship. Hacks are getting the fast kill with the fire, nice. Yeah, right. I think that sorry, it might be like uh, taking the lead like just right now because of that fast uh, fire kill, but now they're in 2 dash 4. That was very cool for me, it's keeping peace speed all this way. Nice call of actually going for that uh, for that power up because uh, it was a fire flower, so he could uh, you know just kill that fire bro out of his way while Haxor wasn't that lucky and took damage. <laughs> and Haxor just had a marathon right now. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he's going to come. Oh, it's a long one. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, right now they both enter to 4-6, Mitch actually been uh, kinda un unlucky with those enemies set and he couldn't, you know, bypass everything and, you know, keep the peace with while Haxor actually just got that flower, I mean, that star and he was um, able to, you know, complete it first. This is pretty much a tight one so far. Yeah, it's been uh, like three lead changes. Oh, we have five oh! nine! <laughs> We have a 5-9 in its position, so this is a Fred. 
What? Oh my god. This is a required five nine, so oh my god, you love to see it. Well, for us as viewers, you love to see it. For the runners, you hate it completely. Yeah. And we all know this, of course, Shards fault, right? Yeah. <laughs> Definitely. I mean, it... it's okay, as long as they don't die, it's, it's just fine. Yeah, considering that they didn't like catch a, a bad enemy set on here, like just the vanilla fire jump over there, but um, they both actually made it through and they're pretty much done with it. Yeah, I mean, for for these two guys, this is just a, an easy level, just a slow. And now they're pretty much going to the World 2 airship. Uh, Hacks are taking out the power up, so does Mitch, and it's oh. a star. Pretty much useless. Uh, but considering that you can't kill any Koopa Links with the star, I mean, even if even if they have the chance, uh, the Koopa Links are immune to both the stars and the hammers. Hammers. So, uh, so yeah, it, this was a pretty nice Roy, and they're off to World 2. Get all your guesses in chat what is going to be the next world. I'm going to say it's world 6. Uh, I am going with 7. Seven, two, four, six. We have everything on chat. I mean, it's just <laughs> world 1. It's just world 1. So now, now, now the question arises, are we going to see Atlantis? That is an interesting question. It would be something fun. Oh, look at that. It's World 1. <laughs> <laughs> nice. We have to play one fourth, which is four, four, 1. Ooh, Ooh, nicely touched by Mitch on that dry bones, like pulling off that candle. Well, Haxor actually took damage and he's going to the basement to search some power ups. And it's a star. Haxor <laughs> taking the basement of shame. He just got hit and was like, nope. Yeah, definitely. And Mitch actually got a really nice star kill over there. And now, well, Haxor has to do like the normal stun kill and he's out while well, Mitch just entered to 3 1. Oh, Haxor used his hammer suit. I don't know if that was a good call. Well, considering the lack of inventory and that you don't know like what's coming up next, uh, basically you you will need like the all the precautions uh, you need to do. Oh, that cheap cheat just went through it, and oh my god, that that was huge. Yeah, I I am almost sure Haxor is regretting using the hammer suit after seeing it was just three one. Three one shouldn't be a I mean, it should be a level that you can do as a small Mario. You can grab the power up above. Yeah, indeed. And right now, Haxor is in five uh, with the hammer, taking all the precautions he needs to take all the enemies out there. And yeah, uh, Mitch is like in a little bit of a struggle right here because he needs to get some power ups to move forward. Yeah, Mitch actually looked very uncomfortable trying to grab the mushroom. I am pretty sure he's not used to to grabbing power ups everywhere like you do on random. No, it wasn't an accident. He actually thought about using the hammer suit or not. He hesitated for a second. Well, right now our runners are... Well, M Mitch is uh, in World 6 airship. So does Haxor, so... Take out your guesses in chat again, because it was a short World 1, so... Um, Mitch getting the sexy clip in the airship, Haxor missing it. Oh, one hit, Larry. There you go. Mm -hmm. So what, what do we have next? World 5? We see we saw 5 and 1. Maybe now 7. Giant world, it's giant world, indeed. So now we have uh, four, 
a three for the one. With Mitch taking uh, intentional damage because you go faster without the tail. Well, the, the first damage was intentional, the second wasn't. That's why he went into the door to grab the power up. And now Haxor is catching up. Very tight race. So, so far, pretty straightforward routing, too. So, no RNG involved yet. We know how Rando goes. So now they take the pipe that. Okay, uh, pipes are actually very close to each other, so they just have to play one extra level. Oh, we got Ooh, to see that Mitch. Yeah, yeah. We got I... to see... <laughs> Sorry. No, we got to see that Mitch was uh, doing like the, that nice ice block strat in 6 8. And hacks are well. Actually, it's in a little bit of a of a really awkward situation with being a small Mario and going to a fort, and apparently that fort is Ice Fort or Six F Two. Ooh, Haxor is going to take the lead because he has the P wing. Indeed, uh, that was a really nice call from Haxor right there. Yeah. Oh, oh, he's barely ahead. This is so close. This is a great match so far. Yeah, yeah that, with that P-Win he would be able to catch up uh, by a lot, I guess. But it's still really close, so anything can happen, uh, looking forward. Yeah, and unfortunately Haxor has to play a Conship. And everything's <laughs> <quite hard. laughs> Yeah, with this, Rich is going to take the lead again, because a Conship would be, would be taking uh, some seconds, and, well, Mitch, um... It's fighting all the bros his way, and pretty much they're getting like not that useful items. I'm, I'm watching a lot of stars coming up from the bros. Haxor is going to take the lead again because he went into the pipe, uh, skipping both bros, while Mitch uh, had to fight both bros, but for or only for getting a leaf and a star. I don't know if that was a good call. I don't know. Yeah, this seed is pretty much throwing all the useless items that you really don't want in your inventory because, you, I mean, you can get a, uh, you can use a star, like if, if you're a small Mario to, you know, bypass uh, some of the enemies at the beginning of the level, but it won't last forever. So getting, you know, like um, uh, I uh, items like that or, you know, uh, not being meaningful to the to the levels. Yeah, it's something that you don't uh, you don't like to see. Mitch actually was actually struggling with this EG fight by getting hitbox twice, and well, Haxor just uh, keeps the lead right now. So now that is saying mostly that we are going to see World Seven, and World Seven it is. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> so let's see. Here is where routing can be a little bit different because of the pipes. Let's see what happens. Well, so far we haven't seen any locks, and we have to, we get to see that there's one fort in the promised land. So um, I think I that it's uh, I think that our runners need just to get to that promised land, uh, play that fort, maybe you know because of the lock, and we're done. Yeah, there, there is no other fort, so yeah, it's just just finding the pipe that leads there, and that's it. You gotta love the pipe transitions here. <laughs> Yeah, uh, it's actually pretty straightforward. They are both trying the same pipes, so if everything keeps like this, Hector is going to find the pipe first. Yep, there he is. And there, Mitch. Uh, I'm sorry, Hector actually finds the the pipe to the promised land, and it, it this is the five seven level right now, and. There was already a really lot of uh, horrible enemies, so he couldn't build peace with at all. Can't blame him. Okay, Mitch entering as a small Mario. Come on, Mitch, why did you get all those items from the bros if you're not going to use them? <laughs> <laughs> yes, indeed. And right now, Haxor is entering to the carpet of or the or six of three, where there's a clip that. I think that my uh, co-commentator here is pretty much like uh, a lucky one when it comes to that clip. Don't you, Booba? <laughs> well, 
if I actually didn't get it, let's see about Mitch. Well, Mitch actually using a, a peewing uh, starting out this level. I think he, you know about uh, being extra cautious and well, he, get, he gets a start and well, see how uh, that goes. I think didn't he didn't even try. Yeah, no, he didn't go for the cliff. I actually did, he didn't get it. Right now, Hacks are uh, just finishing up the second parallel level, and let's see what item is this. And it's a hammer. Hammer, we have still... Maybe it will be useful on World 6 or World 2 that we haven't seen yet. So, it's good. Yeah, definitely. I mean, a hammer can actually be the one that, uh, you know, uh, gives this a uh, turnaround and everything. So, let's see what what's going to happen next. And... Haxor is actually just fighting uh, this Lovewick that is going to be just a two-hit Lovewick. You love to see that because he, he's a pretty tame boy. Yeah, and now we are that fast. We are halfway there with Haxor on the lead because of Mitch's choice of fighting the bros on World 4. Cool, he was lucky right there, like uh, not getting... Uh... Okay, taking damage from those uh, uh, beams uh, coming out from the one, so he's safe and he's out of there. Speaking of World 2... Yeah... Mm. Maybe the hammer is not that useful because I see the pipe there and I don't see the exit. Maybe they just have to take the pipe and that's it. Let's see. Meanwhile, Hacksaw is 8-1. Yeah, I got to see how there's uh, two forts like, coming up next, and there's a five, so if they play the forts, they would be pretty much like taking out any obstacles that there's like in the route to the castle. So right now, Axor in a really um, really nice and safe strat right there, like just waiting for the bullet bills to pass by, because yeah, those are really annoying enemies. And Mitch actually going for that risky uh, power-up, and it was a star, so he was going to might be able yeah to get some peace speed but yeah like because of the enemies uh right in that part he couldn't like complete the, the level with the peace speed strat so he's yeah. pretty much just catching up right now oh, oh my god <laughs> i'm sort of clipping into the pipe just like that clipping into the pipe with the bob -omb, so that's that's amazing <laughs> seriously <laughs> yeah, you're right I, I think i've never seen that while holding anything. <laughs> yeah, that would be yeah. nice if someone in our chat would be like so friendly to um, to clip that out. And right now, Haxor in 2F. And... Well, he's pretty much like trying to make it like the fast way possible, but those enemy sets is not letting him. He has a tail, so I guess, yeah, he's going to damage boost, and just like that, he's at boom boom room. Actually, catching up uh, because he's pretty much like two rooms away from boom boom, he decides to not go for that lead. And okay, he's going to do some, uh, some damage boosting strats as well, and he's just going to be facing boom boom. Yeah. I saw taking the pipe. He's he's going. He has to to do the coin shift, but I think it's still fa uh, no, not faster. But it's uh, you, you, we still have to see world six, so maybe saving the hammer is not a bad idea. Well, Mitch, yeah, oh, Mitch was has his second guesses right there, and he's going to opt for the same route as Haxor. So he's yeah. going to enter the coin shift, and well, let's see. Okay, he uh, hacks her right now using 6 7. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Mitch, Mitch, Mitch was thinking the same. Like, we, we, we still need to to play World 6, and maybe the hammer will be useful there. Oh, but Mitch actually having. getting a cloud. Uh, and actually clouding that 6 7, so right now he's ahead. But let's see if he didn't, didn't make any mistakes because we haven't seen Atlantis yet. So. <laughs> we haven't. And uh, Shar just called it. We are going to see Atlantis, guaranteed. <laughs> <laughs> hey, 
Okay. <laughs> I want my people to keep swimming, you know? <laughs> yeah, but that, that, that what you are doing needs with the Atlantis, you know? Because he, he just used his cloud. <laughs> well, let's see what's going to happen uh, right after this uh, World 5. Uh, I think it, we have like our guesses in chat that uh, it could be like World 6 or World 3. And those are. Uh, those words require hammers as well because you can you, if you have like the double hammer uh, strat you can go for it or maybe you know you can just use uh, the hammer for for world six but let's see what's going to happen next. Let's see the item first. It's a uh, mushroom. The mushroom. So world six. World six in world six. And... <laughs> Mitch has randomized music. That's horrible. I I, <laughs> <laughs> I think somebody is the one that only sociopaths randomize music on random. <laughs> Indeed, that's my that's my opinion about like the randomized music uh, in the randomizer. But I mean, I'm not going to judge anybody. I'm just going to be like watching them like from a really safe distance. But yeah. <laughs> Sorry guys if we get a stroke in between commentary, but we we can't help it, it's Mitch's fault. <laughs> Ooh! Ooh, I, oh I mean, apparently that it's a really free world six and let's see if this fourth oh my god. Yeah, for two, your favorite. <laughs> I mean I have a love hate relationship with this fourth, like I hate it because of the, you know, the Yakwar piece bit, but once that you start nailing it, it's just kind of satisfying in words that I can't actually explain it. But right now, Haxor is applying the rule of Tia 4th, Player 4th, and let's see if it's not a mistake, because it, it, it was this 4th that it was like right next to the unopened bridge to, to the castle, so... We're going to see if Mitch is going to track back or Haxor is going to get lucky. So, okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. Here, let's see. Oh no! Okay, Haxor needs to track back actually, and he doesn't know about it. But wow, this is huge for Haxor right now that he could actually get get the lead right now. I think I saw. A th yeah, there is a third fourth. So we still don't know if Haxor is going to be on the clear. Haxor is... Okay, okay. Haxor is going to actually play the, the next fourth, but he hasn't checked the, the other pipe yet, I yeah, guess. Yeah, exactly. I, I think Haxor hasn't tried that pipe, so he doesn't know. And we... But more, more important, we don't know. <laughs> yeah, let's see if actually Haxor is, you know, uh, playing the cosmic big brain uh, place right here, because... If Mitch, you know, goes to the pipe and check that the build is, uh, has been, you know, built, and he, if he needs to track back, that would be more of a time loss for Mitch, and oh my god, let's see what happens. Okay, okay. Oh, they're going there, so... <laughs> oh my god, Haxor, with the big brain cosmic place, oh my god. Amazing. See a fourth, play a fourth. <laughs> I mean, the, the positive thing is that we are going to switch back to an uh, audio that actually has the right music for each level, so this is fine. <laughs> this is a comedy way to commentate for us because, yeah, like uh, randomized music, yeah, we're, we're going to talk about later. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that was huge for Haxor. Yeah, Haxor right now with the lead and Mitch Flower Power. I think that by this point he must be like a kind of regretting of doing some exploration before and now he gets a marathon. A long marathon. Okay. Yeah, let, 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 let's not forget that uh, Haxor has the cloud that Mitch used on War 2. So that might be important too. Oh yeah, that's right, I forgot about that. Yeah, let's see about Haxor trying the first pipe. 
there's two uh, forts right there and just one lock. And, well, he's entering right now two fort locks. I think that he checked out his inventory, you know, just to make sure that he has a key win so he can, he can, you know, just uh, take a death and fly over. And he, he has a key win. Yeah. Yeah. It's a fun fact, actually, that if you take an intentional death and get a P win to enter to this board, it's faster than actually going to do the, you know, the the Tanuki route. Yeah, the Tanuki route it's just horrible. And mainly because of that P switch that you have to, you know, wait for it to end, and then you know, like uh, all the rooms that you have to get over, and indeed, and you have to track back, and yeah, exactly. Um, yeah, okay. at least we, we know that the other fort is not mandatory, and we also know which pipe takes to the promised land. Indeed, and Mitch is actually going for the Tanuki round, <laughs> and Haxor is right now in the first tank from World 8, better known as the army tank, and um, he wanted a power up right there, but it's a star, and you know, this city has a lot of stars. I wonder who rolled this. <laughs> <laughs> and getting a frog suit out of that army tank. Okay, Haxor is on the clear now. Yes, yep. he is. So. With a useless hammering in his inventory, because uh, on these uh, bracket flags uh, we do not allow the hammers can break locks. Uh, let's see how many bridges are going to be like found to Bowser right now. Take out your guesses in chat. Yeah, we still we still have yet to see if Hackstar is going to finish the wrong with an useless cloud in his inventory. Yeah, he would have uh, used it uh, just in case, like from that uh, army tank, but he just uh, rather, you know, just play the level. But maybe because maybe I think that in Haxor's luck, uh, there's always a level right before the Bowser Castle. So maybe he's saving it just in case that's the case. Yeah, but with Haxor's luck, honestly, the, 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 this time there won't be any level before the castle. <laughs> Well, let's see. <laughs> that would be funny to watch. And there's an anchor, and we don't know. We do not know what's an what's inside the anchor. Okay. Okay, we got I, two locks. Yeah, two locks. Two locks and possible uh, a use for the cloud on that eight one level. Okay. We got to see the dark screen, there's two forts over there. More of the dark screen, and lock. there's a third lock. Okay, so maybe there's one bridge or no bridges at all. Well, Mage is going to be facing this heavy and thick 1D that was actually like a... gave a little bit of a struggle to the Haxor when he, he was fighting her, but Mage has, uh, has it solved it. Ooh, that was an aggressive movement from Haxor, like trying to get like the first uh, stump on that boom boom. And well, one fort is done. Okay, that fort broke a, a lock there. And there you go! Oh. Zero bridges! Yeah, and with an, an unused cloud right there. And oh my god, Haxon is just wrapping up this first seed. Haxon making all the right choices. Yeah, definitely. This was pretty much like a one-fourth wonder, and you love to see that, of course. Yeah, definitely. And, and he, he's even going to finish with an extra cloud, like, yeah, I don't need to use that. That's okay. Right now, Hacks are doing the, the final clip and he gets it. They can try, nice. And Mitch is going to receive maybe the bad news, like in a while, that uh, he had, uh, like, even with his cloud indecision and everything, he wasn't able to actually catch up the Haxor, so give it up your GG's for the Haxor right now. Amazing seed. Yep. 
Mitch taking the long route, he just doesn't know yet. Yeah, he must have felt that that uh, was a fourth. He's uh, now entering to the... Well, to this navy that we knew that it was required right now, but... Uh, yeah, it might be too late for him up now, and well... Um, Haxor with the official time off? 28.55 Nicely done. Axel. Okay, Mitch finding Bowser's castle. But, th but this doesn't mean actually that Mitch is just out of the, you know, of the finals because this is, there's still one more seed to go, like, and if he actually wins this, he's going to be, uh, pretty much like, uh, uh, he's going to, uh, push this to a game 3 match, and, well, uh, right now he was, uh, struggling with the stairs right now, like, uh, he lost the hammer, so he lost the, <laughs> he lost the, pretty much, uh, all his power-ups, and now he's just going for that, uh, out his statue room, trying to get a, at least like one decent power up, and there he is. There's a mushroom. And yeah. Yeah, he's she's there. Athletic theme Bowser's castle. Don't even make me start about it. <laughs> Right now, I think that Hector is going to take a little bit of a, a breath uh, right now because uh, it was a, a really intense seed, like uh, you know, because of the because the routing can actually make you, you know, uh, he might be feeling like quite uh, behind of the of playing like two forts, or you know, like he just he doesn't know that he actually locked out in that world six and which had to drag back so. Um, yeah, like Mitch has just done like this first hit right now and give it up your GG's for Mitch. With an official time of... 31, 32. Let's give our runners a little bit of a of a break right now, and uh, they're going to roll the next seed, and they're they're going to be like uh, play, uh, typing out that ready, and yeah, let's see how this second match is going to uh, what's going to happen next. This is going to be absolutely huge. Let's see if actually Mitch gets to push out for a game three, or um, or we don't know. Maybe Haxor is going to uh, take that. Uh, take that 2-0 victory but and get him to the finals but we never know with this randomizer so this is pretty much like something you love to see okay so we'll be back in a bit let's uh have let, let, let's take five and hope the second race it's a better one
Okay. ¿Estás lista ya? Yep. So our runners are basically uh, just rolling out that. Well, they both rolled that seed right now. They think that I think they're matching up the the hash right now and there. Just waiting for our signal to go. So let's see which world is going to be starting right now. I want a world seven to start. It's like no inventory, all the pipes that you have to check and all the levels that you have to play. Yeah, I want that pipe hell right now. Why? Because it's amazing. <laughs> Why did you hate these guys? They are great. <laughs> <laughs> I do not hate them, but because I know their potential, I want them, you know, to to be like on their limits right now. So, well, let's see what happens. Uh, somebody in chat asked, uh, "What is the fastest time for SMB3 run the race?" It depends on the flags. Uh, yeah. These these flags, the bracket flags, are one of the slowest ones. I mean, it, 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 it of course depends on RNG and everything, but getting a sub theory on these flags is actually huge. You you barely see sub theories here. I, I think myself, I've never gotten a sub theory on, on brackets. And here we go. We have a beta level as a start. Yeah, we have uh, this uh, word. I think that's 3.9 beta uh, with a boss base right at the beginning. And. Um, yeah, right now Mitch is just out of there, while Haxter is uh, kind of a bit behind, but uh, let's just wait for the, uh, for, you know, the, for the timers to sync so we, we can see if, like, uh, how are the leadership going on. And right now uh, Mitch and Haxter are in 6-7. This is actually an auto scroller bot because of this uh, amazing ROM, like, uh, being I mean, this randomizer does not like have the arrow scrollers like activated, so um, they can actually just go through this level like quite faster. Haxel always like taking some precautions and you know like uh, getting that uh, that second power up while well, Mitch just you know just run with it and yeah like um, they're pretty much like a uh, tight still. Mitch actually okay. get, uh, taking some damage to that Drypons and because of that he just goes for that basement. Axel actually have, uh, getting lucky with that. Uh... He... Oh, he's going back! He's going back! No! Okay, he's Axel is looking back. Back the <laughs> Okay, yeah, like he wanted to keep like the uh, peace bridge to do like, you know, the vanilla strat, but he couldn't, so. And I know that he wants a fire flower. Like you can't just, you know, ditch a fire flower in a randomizer because why? <laughs> why would you? <laughs> <laughs> now Mitch in 4F1, grabbing up some power ups uh, along the way, and we c we haven't seen like any luck so far. So let's see. Well, these fours are going to be uh, mandatory as well, but. Right now, well, Haxor is pretty much catching up with that really nice uh, vanilla strat of uh, that early peace bit. And uh, he's going to do like a, a fire kill, so that he's going to catch up some seconds as well, just like that. And Mitch is going to start like uh, to the scavenger hunt of that, uh, well, what am I saying? That, that might be next to it. <laughs> Mitch was like, okay, Char, please stop. This is, this is done. <laughs> Nobody cares. <laughs> <laughs> that was super fast. You'd love to see a fast world three, in my opinion. But oh my god! And you, and you wishing the runners to have long and frustrating world sevens. No, no, no. This is what we want. This is what we want. This is what you're here for. I know. I know. I'm just the sadist. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You just want to see everybody else suffer. That's just mean. That's just, that's just mean. <laughs> I did not want the runners to suffer. I just, you know, want some jank entertainment, you know? <laughs> no, okay, okay. That's a, a way to call it. Okay. <laughs> okay, so now which world? Now which world? I'm going to say world five. Five? 
No, I did There's your World 7, there you go. <laughs> And there's my world seven that apparently there's a fort right there, like next to two levels, and there's two locks, so maybe actually the forts aren't that required because there's only just one five card in that arc. But or uh, not yeah. with with empty inventory, so they have to do the tanuki route. Yeah, kind of. <laughs> this is what you wanted. This is what you asked for, Sar Char. Enjoy it. <laughs> Well, let's see if actually that pipe is going to be required, because if it's not, our runners are going to be like, oh my god, no. Yeah. Right now, Mitch, uh, just encountering the Boom Boom, Hacksaw just went a little bit further than usual, and well, he's right now in the... In the boom room, and yep, uh, let's see where this pipe leads to. Oh, me, and his random music, I just forgot. He's <laughs> 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 like, yeah, yeah, I am going through tanks, super tanks, and enemies throwing wrenches at me. Let's have like some walk in the park music. <laughs> yes, indeed, <laughs> like happy music all the way. You know, okay. always getting that positive vibe, like no tension, really stress-free music right now. Um, the thing is, he, he got an item, it's an anchor. Let's see if this time they use it, so we know what it is. Well, right now, Mitch uh, finishing up that tank. Uh, pipe, pipe, pipe. Okay. They need to do more pipe checks right now, so... Okay, oh, not bad! And right now they're in the one six beta. Well, Mitch actually. Flower is going. Uh, I mean, uh, Hexer is going to enter uh, shortly. Oh, and the anchor apparently it's a P wing. So yeah, that would no. actually have helped out. Uh, you know, if if one of these runners, you know, just took up the gamble and used the anchor before four knocks, they would be like a. They would actually get the lead, but um, they didn't. So right now, uh, Mitch is entering to this uh, second Piranha level with the Yankees on. Um, hey, we get a hammer. Get a hammer. Let's hope this time it is useful. It might be, because we have an encounter uh, World 6 and World 2, so... Maybe it could be like, you know, like the, the big decision or, you know, an, again, another cosmic brain play. So, right now, Mitch uh, with Lockwick and Haxor, well, just starting out this airship. So, let's take your guesses in chat of which world is coming up next. This time it's World 6. This time 6? I'd say it's uh, World 2. We have a like a one guess in chat that's saying that it's going to be world one with three fours. That's oh. evil. <laughs> yeah, evil, <no>, please. <laughs> and it's world, world one. one with only two fours. Only. <laughs> only. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Ooh, we have right now this one two with a boss base. Uh. I think that Mitch is, yeah, he was going to get like that nice piece, but then he's going to be, get rid of it because you don't want the boss base like, you know, uh, catching up like uh, behind you. So, Xor is uh, doing some hovering strats, and this is the ice fort. Oh my God! If Xor actually keeps this uh, this leap like uh, throughout the whole level. He's going oh. to find like a really like nice surprise afterwards. Yeah, he did. He did. <laughs> Mitch was like, no, I don't want that leaf. You can keep your leaf. He's with yeah. Haxor patches up. Yeah, definitely doing some nice vanilla strats right here. Really nice dodging all the road to the east and everything. So he's going to be uh, catching up like uh, right now. Maybe some 10 seconds so far, I guess. 
Um, to what required, they have to build the bridge. Yeah, both are... Yeah, that's right, they both are required then. Right now, Michi, it's in 5F2. And, well, uh, Haxor is just entering to it while Michi is actually finishing that up, so... Mitch will actually just get the lead in here, but, um... You never know what's going to happen next. <laughs> what is going to happen? <laughs> right now, Mitch entering 2-3-4, taking a little bit of the damage right there because of that uh, block man, getting some power-ups on the way. Hacks are on the other side. Maybe he's going to try to skip that one? Yeah, he did. Yeah. He's still going to get that power up because the randomizer, yeah, you pretty much need him, but oh no, he just, uh, he's going to be pretty much uh, getting a little bit behind because of that, uh, of that, uh, bath that he took right there, and oh no, 6-5. Um, Mitch doesn't know the anchor is appearing, I wonder if Haxor would take that into account. Oh, Mitch is trying to clip. And he gets the clip! Oh my god, you love to see that! Right now, Haxor actually getting some peace speed, and let's see if he actually goes for that clip as well, and he is! But he gets it first try! Oh my god! <laughs> Nicely done for both of our runners! I thought it was slowly catching up. That's what we want to see. Right now, Mitch using one of his anchors to get to know that that was a P-Wing, and uh, well, he's entering right now to the castle while Haxor has a really nice uh, fire kill for those fire bros. And yeah, like he's going to meet up to Mitch like shortly. It's been another bad seed so far. We're already yeah. finishing World 3. Yeah, this might be possible another, uh, who knows, a sub, another sub-20, uh, sub-30? Sub-20, oh my god, imagine that! <laughs> maybe, or maybe we but, are going to see Atlantis, 7-5, 5-9. Yeah, we still need to watch those uh, right now. And hacks are actually cutting up like that gap in between them beca uh, because of that fire kill that he just made. So, yeah, what, what is going to happen next? I'm going to say World 5. World oh, 6. World 6. And there's one lock over there. Maybe the hammer is going to be like required in this case, uh, you know, to skip some of the levels. Mitch in a really tough position up because of those fire snakes, but uh, well, hacks are taking damage as well. But he gets his fire flower back, so that's going to help him a little bit. Oh, yeah, and as, I, as soon as I say that, he's going <laughs> to take damage. <laughs> Okay. Now this is 5-8. Mitch going for that uh, power up. Axor, let's see what's going on. He's not going for that power up, he's just going to do uh, strictly the peace bit strat. And let, just like that he's going to be able to catch up. Like, now they're yeah. pretty much neck to neck right now. Entering the pipe with like a second apart from each other. No, they're synced, I guess. Maybe a little bit. <laughs> okay, Mitch is only going to fall behind because of the bro fight. Hacks are taking that lead. Oh, that would be maybe a useless fight because, uh, or maybe not, because there's a four in there. I think I saw three fours already in here. Ooh, yeah. But Hacks are taking a death to that fire, bro, so. That's going to let Mitch to catch up a little bit right now because he needs to fight this bro and now Mitch is going to enter one of these forts, so... It would all depends if that... if this... Um, if this fort breaks a lock or not because we, we got to see that there's one like right at the beginning so let's see if... Um, 
if it didn't break anything, that would be the answer. And... Okay, maybe. Well, he didn't check behind, so let's see. And it is! Oh my god, one-fourth wonder as well. Where were these seats on my matches? <laughs> <laughs> this is just... Oh, Miss getting the clip first try. This is unbelievable. Ooh, Haxor right now with a little bit of an advantage here because he has a, a, a leap, so he's going to be flying up over like all the airship. Well, Mitch actually needed to, you know... Just uh, keep running, and um, yeah, this is pretty much a really close race right now. It can be every anybody's race right now. Okay, we're halfway there again. So we still need to see World 2, World 5, and World 4, so... Maybe the hammer is, is still going to be required, but we're not counting on that. They get a cloud from the letter from Peach. And this is pretty much an unrequired twisty castle, so they need to get their way up over there. Axel taking the extra precaution by uh, grabbing the leaf, so he needs to, yeah, so he gets that uh, damage boosting his rod. He's able to keep the P-Speed all the way up, so did Mitch. He love to see that strat. Now let's see if this World 5 is going to be like a long one or not. <laughs> Uh okay. Ooh. Okay, interesting. So we still need to to check how many levels we're going to find on that skyland part. Okay, Mitch is going to go to the sky part and it's a long one! It's a long one as well. Oh, under 7-6 right now. Oh my god. Axor doesn't know this, but he's going to clip with the tail. <laughs> Let's see. Oh my god, just Mitch just entered in. Oh my god, that was a close one for Haxor. Mitch is pushing this right now, to, maybe to a game 3 event, but... Uh... Let's see how many tries it takes to hack to actually get over that it's, um, six. Okay. And he gets it. It wasn't that bad. Oh. <laughs> and now he's going to... Oh my god. <laughs> this is such a bad moment for having a leaf right now because while jumping with a leaf it's not a good idea at all. Well, actually Haxor is going to catch up because he's not going to even try to go for the wall jump. So, and Mitch... Did like five attempts, I think. So this was actually good for Haxor. Yeah, and uh, on the yeah, thinking about it, yeah, uh, you're right. Uh, he might catch up just a little bit, but he still needs to swim. Yeah, runners keep swimming. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody wants Better to swim here than in Atlantis. <laughs> oh no. Okay, one fourth. Oh, Mitch is going to just get the item and that's it. And they both and get in like the like... same coin ship movement. Okay, let's see if Haxor can get a tail here. Mitch got another cloud. That would be huge for Mitch right now because he's going to. Yep, yeah. yes. The combo play. Let's see what is going to be uh, uh, skipping for Haxor right now. I mean for yeah. Mitch. Because Haxor only has one cloud and I'm not sure if he's going to use it right now. Yeah, just like that, Mitch is out of World 5. 
and he is in the World 7 airship. Let's see. 1-1? One, one? Not, not a bad level, not, I mean... Yeah, not a bad level considering its difficulty, but a bad level to use it loud, because it's really short. Yeah, just like that hacks is out of it. And... This is the 5-7 beta level, so this is another level that it's not like... Uh, kinda worth when it comes to clouding, but um... But let's see if Mitch's uh, look turns around to him. Uh, if he encounters, you know, one of the nightmare levels, uh, like 7-5, or 5-9, or Atlantis. We still have to see World 4 and World 2, I think. Indeed. World 2. Okay. There's a war required. And in 6 f 3 your fourth, basically, Booba. <laughs> well, because of the clip? Easy clip. It's free. <laughs> Everybody can get it. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody can get it if you believe, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, you just, you just have to believe. It's easy. Mitch didn't even try. <laughs> Now, Hacks are in a really nice position of uh, doing a particle over Roy, and he gets it. Pretty much like kind of two stages away from each other, but this is still anyone's race because Hacks are still has his clouds. And let's see what's coming up next. Oh no, 6 -6. Oh my god, 6 6. This is another nightmare level considering the enemy set that you can find in here. Like, right just go! Now. Okay. I th this might be worth of using a cloud. It is, definitely. I mean, if I actually encounter this on one of those seeds, I would just take a death cloud. It. I'm not <laughs> taking any chances. Oh, that was close. Yeah, uh, I'm really doing some tight. Uh... Ooh. This is huge for Haxor right now because, yeah, it has no clouds and he still needs to play this level, so... Yeah, Haxor is probably going to cloud it, so he, he he's going to take the lead, actually, if he clouded it. If he actually clouds it, well, considering yeah. that you never know, like, what what is the next one? Let's He's see. just going to enter. Okay, what are you doing? <laughs> he's doing, he, he's playing it. He's playing it. Yeah, yeah, he's going for it. He's a pro player. He's like, uh, what? Six, uh, what is this? Six, four? Six, four? Six, five? Six, six. <laughs> six, six? <laughs> he's like, six, yeah. six? Yeah, that's free. It's easy. Let's just swim. Taking another bath for runners right now. Ooh, we didn't see that big birth up from each side. I think that he got the lucky to despawn it, but oh my god. That was a really tight situation for Haxor, but he's out of there. And Mitch encountered one of the hands and encountered another cloud. I mean, another anchor. Hey. Oh my god. <laughs> Now, Haxor! Yeah. Ha Haxor, Haxor is not going to be happy when he needs yeah. to clap him again with a tail. Well, th to be fair, Mitch has taken his time clipping on these two levels. Haxor actually didn't take that long considering he had a tail. Let's see if he can repeat it on 7-1. Haxor is not going to be happy after this hit because, yeah, cl uh, clipping with the tail, it's really awkward. Mitch yeah. using his hammer, the smart choice. Yep, well, Haxor is keep it, uh, staying in stock. 2, 7, 1, 1. Okay, Haxor is clear. Yeah, 
like now hacks are well which it took an unfortunate to five seven and hackster is going to be able to catch up because oh. that bro was in hackster way but oh my god hackster just oh my god cosmic brain plays right there I mean, honestly, it wasn't even a bad decision from Mitch yet to use his clouds on World 5. He just took a couple of deaths and that was it. Just like that. Yeah, definitely. I mean, like the levels, uh, when you skip some levels and, you know, just go to the castle like as soon as possible, it's not a bad idea. But when you encounter, when you get to see which levels were, yeah, you might be having like the second thought of, you know, I might not have been uh doing that but uh let's see it's it's still anybody's game by this point because i think that hacksaw has no clouds mitch doesn't either so let's see what's going to happen next okay last world i mean second to last but you know what i mean <laughs> uh it's going to be a fast one Yes, indeed, because uh, there's only one port required, and uh, Haxer is just going to fight this bro, he's going to enter the port, and he's out. Now, that's the port where you actually would need a tail to, you know, start to do the damage boost, but... Uh, Mitch just ditched that cloud. I mean that leaf. Oh my god, I'm saying cloud too much. I'm just <laughs> thinking about clouds. <laughs> Haxor is going for that nice uh, fire flower while well, Mitch is going to get a mushroom and uh... I think well, yeah Mitch Mitch uh, goes for the damage boost even if he Ends class is more Mario, so he catch up. They are basically neck to neck. Yeah, this is going to be a job for the great equalizer coming up next in World 8. Oh, Mitch got unlucky there. He has to fight the other bro. Well, hopefully, this bro is giving him something useful, but never mind. <laughs> <laughs> The mighty powerful star. Let's go, Mitch. Oh, Haxor getting Yeah. Well, oh, he's, he's out of there. But oh my god. If he died in here, that would be huge for Mitch. He would be like maybe pushing up for the game three. But um. But let's see. Let's see what's coming for our runners in World 8. How many bridges are going to be there for Bowser? Mitch didn't go for the off-screen Guant Gra. I wonder why. I think that he ran out of time, like uh, after that um that final stomp. Oh so, well. Right now, hacks are entering to this. So does Mitch, and we we don't have any luck. Oh, it's one bridge. To one us. bridge. People saying on chat four bridges. What is wrong with you, people? Why do you hate the runner so much? <laughs> <laughs> See, I'm not the only one that wants all runners to have like you know really long words. As a runner myself, I just want every runner to get friendly and lovely seats. <laughs> all right, so Haxor just encountered one of the hand traps and he's taking an intentional death for it. He found one lot. Well, he <laughs> found another hand trap. <laughs> He takes a cool from the boss face, you oh my god no. He's going to keep doing some exploration. Uh oh god, this looks horrible. Indeed. Well Mitch is uh Mitch played the level. Yeah, he played the first level and oh my god. <laughs> now there's that guy. That, that was a bad decision. It kind of was because uh, you could avoid that hand trap and because you're coming up from the top part but the thing is that yeah there's a lot of things that it are guarding our forts so yeah 
let's see which one is the right one then. Hacks are missing the one cycle. I'm grabbing a tail. I'm pretty sure Haxor is happy to see tails everywhere, right? Yeah, he's pretty much using like a, a tail like in every level. Either for damage boosting or, you know, just to bypass for, some of the enemies. Or for clipping. <laughs> <laughs> you mean booba. <laughs> hey, don't blame me. Blame the game. Well, apparently that fort wasn't required, so maybe he's going to take the gamble with these two forts over here, and this is the one pipe data. Uh, actually, he has to. I think there is no other way to go. He has to go to the Ant Bridge. Mitch still doesn't know, so he's trying to find his way. I think Mitch is a little bit lost, maybe? Yeah, he went back! Mitch is lost! Yeah, Mitch right now doesn't have an idea of what's going to happen right now, so... Yeah, Axel is looking pretty solid to take this one. Yeah, definitely. This is not looking good for Mitch because he hasn't even finished the fort. So... I think that Haxel already played one fort, so if he gets to see that... If the lock that it's in the elbow part of this uh, hand bridge... Uh, breaks, uh, maybe he's going to go back and um, try to check if that was a required fort. And if it's not, he needs to go back and play the air fort. If that made any sense. <laughs> okay, now is Haxor going back or he's playing the fort? I think he will play the fort. Oh, wait, nope. the, the lock wasn't even there. So he actually just. Played a fort that just broke that one, and um, yeah, it's coming back to check. Oh, there's a fort. Okay, there's a lock. There's still a lock over there. So, this is it for Haxor. No! He has to go back. He, he just looks like 30 seconds going back and forth. I, I think Haxor thinks he's behind. Because otherwise, I think you just play the board that is right next to you. So suddenly, Mitch is on the lead. Maybe if he, if it is, this is the fort that breaks the that builds the bridge. Yeah, maybe this is the case of Mitch actually just being in the lead right now because he he went directly to that um. To that fort, and um, yeah, right now, Mitch, I think that he's going to just check, uh, check yeah. the word. Yeah, I think that's it. I think that was the fort that builds the bridge, or oh, not? Ma yeah, maybe not because yeah, he didn't yeah. play the navy. No, I mean. It's not because uh, there's not a, a lock over there. So this is oh, the fort that is the answer. You're so, right. Yeah. You're and right. did it with the navy. <laughs> so, unless something weird happen, Haxor should take this one. Yeah, with anything like uh, on his way right now, Haxor is most likely to yeah. take this second race to him and he's going to be advancing to the finals. Yeah, yeah, and he actually was able to keep the Fire Flower because he, he doesn't have anything to kill Bowser with. So this is also very good. Haxor with a really nice uh, stair clip right there. Let's hope he doesn't like take damage at all. No, he's not. He's a good player. And right now he's approaching to the last clip of the game and... Whoa, doesn't get it uh, first try, but... Well, he's not getting any other try right now. And um, just like go. that. 
right now Mitch is going to receive the bad news uh, in a moment and well indeed <laughs> This is it for Haxor, and uh, only 35 shots to Bowser. Um, GG to Haxor. GG to Haxor. So Haxor is going to be facing Tix in the finals. Yeah. <laughs> While we will, we will, and we will have again for like the... 11th tournament in a row, Pro A against Mitch for an important match for third place. Yeah, that's that's actually a true as well. That uh, this is not over for Mitch. He needs to play one more match in the bronze uh, race. So give it up also, like a. Uh... Like credit to Mitch that he actually made a, a really nice job, but <laughs> yeah, maybe the routing wasn't like the best because of that. Um, what was the level like uh, right before the castle in World Two? It was six seven, right? It, that was a really long level to play, and Haxor bypassing it with the cloud. Uh, yeah, that was it for Haxor. And joining the winner, Haxor GG. GG Haxor. You can say hi, hi, don't be shy. <laughs> nice, what's going on? <laughs> Hello, GG, Haxor. Thank you, thank you. Oh, man. Second race. Well, that was, that was uh, interesting. <laughs> I mean, with all the clipping with the tail thing, you nailed it, like, uh, with the with the cosmic brain plays seriously like i, I don't want to say much but uh but indeed you put up a, a really nice routing like uh you know uh, a better routing than mitch so that's why uh you're here with us like right now and mitch is still like needs to finish up mouse right now and um but yeah indeed you put up an amazing job today yeah thank you i mean i didn't know you know the routing like I'm like, okay, so I know I've routed well, but the thing that didn't happen very well for me that seed compared to the first seed is, like, my items didn't line up very well, like, I would have a tail when I had the clip. I would not have a tail when I needed a tail, you know, it just was like, oh man, all these potential spots that, you know, he could have the right item and just save, like, a minute, easily. Yeah, to, to, to be fair, we were all laughing about that because it was, it was a, a little bit funny. <laughs> but yeah, but no, Mitch actually, uh, did, they, he didn't have a tail, for example, when he had to clip, but he didn't have also the right items every time. So uh, oh, he, he didn't clip very, uh, like very fast. It, it took you a little bit more time, but not like, like a couple of more tries. Yeah. So it, it, it wasn't that bad. But that wasn't the, the difference. In about that, you you actually did pretty well. Yeah, it was weird because like nothing ever lined up. Like yeah, I never I had a tail in seven one and seven six. I didn't have a tail in in seven uh, f one or one for it. I had a tail in six nine, so I couldn't even do the big Mario wall jump attempt. I was just, just like <laughs> nothing's lining up in terms of items. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Mitch joining too. Mitch, GG, how do you feel? I wasn't really into it. It was okay, I guess. Kind of sucked, like <laughs> Axel said. Nothing lined up. I wasn't feeling it. Yeah, I yeah, wasn't I... I'm going to imagine that, you know, I'm going to go back and watch it. It's just going to be routing. That was the difference. Like, I got really lucky with routing. You know, I made all the basically right decisions i think in the two seeds except for yeah. World in the second one but i mean everyone would have played it the same way yeah when it comes to the first one uh it was the routing that actually made the well the first race was pretty much like close to each other like what we were pretty much expecting to but the routing yeah. in world six was the thing i'm not going to say further and when it comes to um to this seat uh you were pretty much like uh catching up each other to the uh, to enter into world eight but it was the routing uh like seriously uh you hacked her with the 
So with the, uh, you didn't get lost, and at some point I think that Mitch actually got lost because he was entering, you know, to the same pipe like twice. Yeah. So I mean, with the with those uh, pipe layouts uh, out there, it's easily to get like a uh, yeah, get dizzy of all the pipes. Yeah, that second C bro, awkward. Yeah, yeah, I can't it was. It you, was. But, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. It. You know, and plus, like, if you're going in too and you're not, like, feeling it or you're a little on tilt because, like, things haven't gone as well, you'll you'll miss where pipes are. You just will forget because you're not, like, paying attention to the right stuff, too. Yeah, uh, another important thing, on that second seed, uh, Mitch took a dead on 6-6. Six, uh, six, six. Yep, yeah. right at the end. Okay. Yeah, that, that was actually the breaking point on the race. Mitch was leading basically the whole race until that happened. That was mm -hmm. a huge time loss. It was right I was after curious. a couple clouds, too. Oh, no. Okay, so you got two clouds. See, I was curious if you had a cloud there um, because six, I figured... Yeah, I figured you would have clouded at the end of World 5. Did you I did. I, I double clouded I, at yeah, the end of World okay. 5. Yeah, that's what I expected. So actually, the last level in World Five was the beta, and like the easy mm -hmm. beta that you just run in the clouds. So I knew when I saw that, I was like, okay, he actually probably clouded this because I still have a cloud. I only clouded because the fortress gave me a cloud, so I did double uh, cloud. Play. Oh, yeah, you had the tail. See, I was like, oh man, I should equip the uh, the P wing here, but I didn't. And then. Yeah, it was of course that one. Well, I had like seven anchors, so I, I couldn't I couldn't avoid Hammer Brothers. It was tough. Uh, okay, okay. I pretty much like in, didn't play them. In uh, the first oh, yeah. seed, I played. I took a gamble and played the first, uh, the three Hammer Brothers in World Four. They gave me two stars and a leaf. It was a big waste. <laughs> yeah. Time. We're talking about that too. But on the first seed, actually, that that wasn't uh, a huge thing. The the real difference was. Haxor's, every routing choice that Haxor did was the correct choice. That was insane. Yeah, like he, all the 50 50 gambles that he, uh, there were like out there of the seats, Haxor just won them over. And yeah, Mitch. Yeah. Uh, I think the only one I got was World 3. Backtrack on the first seat, so yeah. Yeah, I mean, that's a thing. It's a lot of those. I knew I had to win those because, like, to beat Mitch, you have to win that. I, there's like no other way. You know, unless like you make the exact same decisions and you just play a little cleaner. But like generally speaking, if you're racing Mitch, you have to win 50-50s. Yeah, exactly. That, that was what happened. But it, it was pretty close, except for that dead on the second race and World 6 routing on the first one. Besides that, it was pretty close. You were changing the lead uh, even two times on one level. It was insane. You guys yeah, know. yeah, I played. I played so weird in the second seat at the beginning. Like it was just so. I don't know. I made a lot of like dumb mistakes. You're gonna laugh if you if you watch it back. Which like I started early and then had to reset, go back out, restart it. So I lost like five seconds on it right away. I saw you type that. I was like, what the hell's he talking about? But I think yeah, you started early, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, like three seconds early. I'm like, oh dang it! So then yeah, by the time I'm in, it's like five on the timer. I'm like, all right, it's fine. It's only five seconds. <laughs> That's not so bad. It's like the anticipation. You're like, I just want to start. Let me in. Yeah, yeah. My, my <laughs> thumb bumped the the start button. And then I had yeah, I missed some like weird jumps. They didn't kill me or anything, but I took extra damage. I like bumped a candle in 7f1 yeah it was a train wreck i, I, I died in 57 at the end because i yeah. jumped over the enemy but it was the goomba oh. shoe and he popped me up yep. into the lack two <laughs> so stupid <laughs> dude i hate the goomba shoes on that one if you get them at the end it's rough it is definitely it is but Okay, so Haxor is uh, going to the finals against Tix. How do you feel about it? Uh, I, I race Tix like every tournament I enter, so it's, you know, <laughs> it's just, it's normal. It's like, I always race Mitch and Tix every time. Never fails. Unless Mitch isn't in a tournament. Uh, and you, Mitch, you are going to face Pro A for the third place for like the 11th year in a row. How does that feel? <laughs> I don't, I don't know. I'll just give him the third. <laughs> I'll just I'll take the fourth place. 
No, Miz. No. We want to see you guys suffer. No, man. You gotta, you gotta fight for the bronze trophy. You don't want the wood trophy. I got the wood no trophy. One, last no year. one remembers the bronze. <laughs> Teeks no biggie, says Teeks. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Teeks is on point this season, so. Yeah, he is. He was on, he was on point last year, too. It was just, he played Hammer Bros and I didn't, and they were all useless, so. <laughs> Never play the bros. Never. No. Never play the bros, except when you should <laughs> play the bros. <laughs> I would say, never play the bros if you're facing Haxor, because all of the bros are going to give you stars, like the best item that you can get in that randomizer. <laughs> yeah, like, I couldn't even avoid my Hammer Brothers, most of them. Yeah, yeah, we saw that, especially on the second uh, Yeah, raid. I didn't. I wanted to, but... Yeah. Uh, on World 4, at the end, you you fight one, and then... I, I, actually, you you both played a coin ship, if I remember well. Then yeah. Haxor got a good move from the bros, and he was able to go to the castle, and Mitch had to play the other bro. Well, yeah. Just... The same in World 5, it went behind the levels for me. Yeah. I, uh... I, th one of the few bros I had to play was in World 6 in the second seed, and it was double fire with a wa in a water battle, and, and I was just like, I'm just gonna die, and then use an item. Yeah, I don't have to deal with Bowser clips anymore. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't even, I didn't even do Bowser clips today, like I was, I entered what, Small Mario, both, both Bowser Castle. Oh, okay. And was it the Star Block or something? Yeah, they were all stars in Bowser's today. Yeah, it was star. What the heck? They didn't give me any items. Yeah, there's always a star, so oh my god. Typical randomizer. Yeah. <laughs> I I was nervous in the second seed because I'm like, oh man, he he's got to be close, right? Like this world eight has been horrible. <laughs> I, I actually, uh, we actually were talking about, I think, um, especially in the second race at some point, you both thought you were behind because of some decisions that I think you made. That, yeah, oh, for sure. Oh, yeah, yeah. And when I entered World 8 on the second seat, I instantly went to the level 2 panel and played it. Because I was like, I'm behind, I'll just play this panel and go check out this pipe that like did nobody that, would did ever... Did that pipe go to the, the worthless tank? <laughs> no, that pipe went behind the hand stage. It went, it actually went oh, yeah. okay. to the level that we needed to do, but the lock was in the way. Yeah, it, yeah. It, 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 it was between a hand stage and a lock, so it was completely useless. Well, I mean, I didn't have to do the hand stage once I... But, yeah. Yeah, no, yeah that, that world they sucked. It did. It did. Yeah, I, like I got pulled in by every hand I crossed. <laughs> I was like, this is normal. Yep. GG. Yeah. How does I got the, the bait pull in where you like it's in the dark area and you don't know it's there. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Uh, I got that. It was the bottom corner, right? And then as I was going left, I got it again. I'm like, oh, come on, dude. Can one of these not pull me in, please? Yeah. How, how does it feel to enter World 8, the first pipe that leads to Bowser's Castle? You see only one bridge required, and then you have to play all four forts. Yeah. Uh, it, that's, it's crappy, because if, if Mitch feels like he's behind, he could gamble, and gambling could be the right choice, and he just finds the fort right away. If that, if that lock was on the right side of the hand, that would have been the gamble, but it wasn't, it was above. Yeah, it yeah. been a... Well, uh, GG to you both, any final thoughts before we leave? Hmm? GG, man. Thank oh. you. Yeah, GG. GG, good races. <sighs> Feels good, good tournament so far. Yeah, for sure. Um, yeah, thanks for doing commentary, guys. Thanks for Speed Game for putting it on, and uh, thanks for Mitch for uh, racing as always. Not enough threes, though. Not enough three three rounders. We needed more of those. I know. I know. It's I know. tough though, right? After you lose that first game. Yeah, that's why you know. Stewie winning the second game against me last round, like, I thought that was impressive. He played really well when I went back and watched. I was like, even if I, you know, played well, I think he wins just because he made better decisions. Yeah, finals, well, best of five, man. You have to set aside, like, three or four hours. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What did yeah I, I faced McCobra in the finals one year, didn't I? McCobra. Yes. Year, yeah. And Duckfist. Yeah. On the very first round of tournament.
Yeah, that was Duck Fist. Yeah. And then the second one, I don't think I... I think I was like third or fourth. Randomize is stressful, man. It is. Yep. <laughs> yep. Every time at the end. Yeah, it feels very different than vanilla. That's for sure. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, well, thanks for having me, guys. And GG Hackster, it was fun. Good luck Thank in the you, finals. You two teeks. Good luck, guys. Okay, Mitch, GG again, and thank you for the race. Yeah, take it easy, guys. See you, guys. See you, Hackster. Well, Char, that was the race. Yeah, indeed. I mean, the Varans made an amazing job, and seriously, um, looking forward to watching my, uh, the finals now that it has been set, like uh, for uh, the Hackster versus Tix88. So, um, with no further more comments on uh, for this race, this was everything for us uh, for today. Not sure if Bulba wants to uh, close up uh, uh, for me. Uh, okay, well, so this was the second semifinals. Now we, we will have in the finals Mitch against Tix, uh, I mean, Traxor against Tix, and uh, for third place, Mitch against Proe. So, stay tuned, there are going to be great matches. Um, that's it. Let's uh, let's finish this. Uh, hi everyone, have a great night. Char, thank you for making commentary with me. I think we have we had fun. And um, we'll see you guys next time. Yeah, see you guys. Uh, have a good one.